Tabacchiamo. <laughs> you say the same thing every single time. Oh, we missed the whole little entrance. No sound. Let's do it again. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Look, take two. Why does that fit you? I mean, I'm just saying. Ja, 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 ba, ba, boom, dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. You gotta do your si go for and do your signature move. You do. You have a signature move. No, you, I don't. Yes, you do. You have a si do. All right. If I told you to dance right now, what would you do? Dance. Come on. <laughs> What's he doing, Ace? That's how I dance. He's getting stung by you a can't bee. dance without music, man. I, you gotta have the moves. You gotta have the, the the beat to take. I love to dance. I love. Let's talk about the overhanging that door really quick. Ah, look, I almost come out, got naked here. What? Um, again. <laughs> what do you mean the overhang? Isn't that, that beautiful? That is cool. Look what they did. Look at the amount of detail. Look at all them little oh, things up in there, and David the rope, did. and the horns, and the vines, and God. And it's been sanded, you can sh see. Too much. Oh, it's so cute. Amazing. Good job, guys. Yeah, yeah. David, I mean, he really, look at this. There's the handle. Got a little bit of, <laughs> that's so great. Yep, he's, he he got into he it. He embellished. Yeah, well, embellished, well. Em I don't know what that word means. <laughs> that looks great. Yeah, I know we showed this. It's getting ready to be shipped out. Yeah. But they keep adding little things to it. And if we could do a professional video of this sucker, yeah. I bet any money it'd just go viral. You know what? You and going viral. It gets on my nerves. Viral. Let's go viral. Let's go viral. Now you're standing there like that. Oh, right, listen. Look, the, the camera's going to the, the beat of my hip. Like. You know what I've learned? I think, I used to think, how come our, the videos don't go like... A million views, like all these people talk about, you know. And uh, I'm not sure those sell homes, you know what? Of course they don't. Yeah, I mean, you get popular and stuff like that. But um, I think because we're we're just steady mm -hmm. and we show what we're doing, I'm, you know, and I've always said, well, right. I'm on, I want to build a company. I'm not, I don't want to be just a, you know, well, flash you know, in the pan. One of the other things is like, you know, we did pretty flash good. Flash in the pan ain't bad, though. We did pretty good on Instagram. But it's only for perfect looking pictures, okay? Yeah. You have to have them decorated. You have to show them perfectly and stuff. Do you know we never sold a home because of Instagram? How do you know? Because we have a, a survey, you know, when the people, that when they buy, how did you hear about us? Not one person said, I saw it on Instagram and I bought it. Instagram sold me. Nobody said it. But it might be a, hey, you know what? That may be a gateway, like a gateway uh, drug. I think, well, you know what it I goes think from Instagram it is, YouTube. and Instagram is to give exposure and stuff like that, but it's also to build that channel. So you're really, the people are making money with their Instagram. Yeah. We want to make money by building homes. I want to go viral. Oh, you are no so. No matter what. You are so. Uh, I, want, I wonder why I can't, I, I want to be like a Kardashian, you know, I'm of tiny homes. I'm going to a t-shirt that says viral. Randy wants to go viral constantly. Not virus. Viral. Viral. What does viral we need mean? To socially distance from you. <laughs> <laughs> Mask up. Mask He's coming. Up when you're around him. Yep. In this cool house. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, oh, man. I hate. To, you know, if you have you been watching, we're kind of beating a dead horse, I guess, a little bit. We've showed it a lot. Oh, they, everybody loves it. But it's just. Look how cool. The thing is, is when you you splash, look at it. That's a splash look. It's like you glance at it and you're gone. Yeah. But when you start looking at it. Yeah, the detail. There's this, Look. this is an old piece of wood. It has yes. some crisscrossing in it, right? That's neat. Oh. oh, it looks great. Sorry about that. I have to call you back, Jeff. <laughs> I have to call you back. And the roof is wood. It's actually wood. He wanted it wood. He, he said he up. wanted it to look more like a, uh, a stage, staging. Yeah like a movie set yeah. than anything because it's going to be on the rental program over here near Dollywood and uh, Gatlinburg. Yeah. Yep. But if you come over here, you got the little rafters sticking out.
Yeah, in all. I mean, it is. So we tried to make it to where this was the main. They're gonna when they get there, they're gonna try to put that trunk on the ground. Yeah. And it'll look like the vines just crawled out from this. Up. Yeah, it started from this area right here. It you know. So neat. Yeah, and then the window trim, our half logs been cut in half. Some of it's live edge. Then we trimmed it in rope. Even covered up the white vent. You know. Yes, that looks beautiful. Exactly. Yep. Look at the windows. Those added little touches. Do you know what? If it hadn't had the vines on it, it looked very Fred Flintstone. Yeah. In that era, too, you know? Yep. Yep. Yeah, and this is the way I wanted to do. I wanted to um, get the vines on it to, to make it look a little more earthy, a right. little more hobbity. That's so cool. Yeah. Now, Amanda, there are some people that's built some hobbit houses oh and doors God, look how smooth that nothing is nothing like this man nothing. and this is an esp panel home oh my God, it's beautiful. yeah now that is a testament right there it's an esp home look what you can do with those you can do anything yep oh wow. my goodness <laughs> that's cool i love it it is very cool now what will you do to treat what will they do on the the wood on the roof he doesn't care if it rots goes through it's been it's been uh god waterproof three different layers mm -hmm. underneath that then you got the panel roof on top of that so he wants it to look more shabby and more yeah shabby. man yep he said i don't care if it rots kind of like shakes where they they just get weathered more and more weather yep sure is can we take a peek just really quick at yours over there yes i was going to do Everybody's that excited about i was waiting house. to see about putting uh rob's building this little um murphy bed, bed for us yeah. yep and i'm going to get some foam to go on it and I'm going to get this four inch foam, but I'm going to have a queen size bed. And then if you add the sofa to it, it's actually a king size. Yeah. So you cool. got the whole thing. Yeah, it'd be Look cool. Look at your porch. Well, I was just looking at some, before you came on, I was on the internet and I was looking up some container homes. Right. And I was looking up floor plans and stuff. And the one that looked really nice that was down in uh, near Chattanooga, this guy did a thing on. Mm -hmm. He's got 343 viewers like subscribers this kid on 343, youtube 000? for yeah 343,000 oh, you know subscribers oh well, good but they do really polished real pretty and they go in a house and it's none of his homes it's homes that they've you know they're going all over the country and, and it's kind of like that tall bright yeah. guy anyway they had a door on the side and then this was the bed overlooking the window so okay. when you come in you had the bathroom kitchen bed and that was it mm -hmm. and so to me that's how do you do that with a wheel well well that was it was up high okay this is the only one we've done with a wheel well mm -hmm. but if this was a bed we'd have been fine oh he's got the sofa in here i didn't even know i was gonna say i didn't know what else you were gonna get that's beautiful we're gonna put a cushion across here nice. a cushion in the back how does it work there's a thingy you lift it up, man. Oh, is that what How you do? How does it work? Is that what you do, Randy? Isn't that cool? You lift it up. Just lift it up. I can put all my... I hope that I hope everybody else gets our I don't know what I'm going to put in there. <laughs> I'm going to put you in there. Can you fit in there? I might be able to. <laughs> no, I can't get in there. You, that's very thin. That's nah, pretty, 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 pretty thin. Huh? All right. That is cool looking. But what I think about is living in here. I don't want my bed down all the time. You right. know, mm -hmm. and I want a living room. Like if you have, but that was a great rental design. Because if mm -hmm. you have a rental, you come in. It's like a hotel room. Mm -hmm. You come in. You got your bed, kitchen, and bathroom. For living in it, this is going to have a small Murphy bed, and I'm only going to have a four-inch foam. And oh, I, wait a minute. So you're not sleeping on this? No, it's too oh, narrow. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have a Murphy bed that folds down right. and hits. Right on top of that. That's that. right. Okay, yeah. I forgot. Well, we'll have to and we're building that. It's going to fold down and have a bed. So I fold it up. So I'm getting some cushions from Knoxville right. Foam and Fabric. Mm -hmm. And they, they said, come on and get it. You can get the high density foam or something and we'll wrap it up, put it on here. Man, I got a full sofa with a back. Nice. I can kick back. The thing I'm going to do probably on the back side of that bed uh -huh. is I may put that corrugated uh, plug so yeah. I can put a TV on the back of it mm -hmm. or put it in the corner where you're at. What's a corrugated plug? It's just a it's a wire. It's like a pigtail. Oh. So it expands and contracts. I see, I see. So when you lower it down, it won't be in the way. It is nice in here. The big window. Yeah. 
I mean, this works out perfect. You can do work right here. Yep. Eat. I can eat and sit, office work, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like it. But I like the layout, too, for living. Uh, normally, we don't have these fender wells in here because we mm -hmm. lift the houses up and they're all underneath, you know, so you got to contend with that. <clears throat> I don't know what else I would put there. Like this is a cool place for a sofa. Yeah. If you didn't, if you had a Murphy bed, that's a nice place. I like having a door there because we take the doors, and we make them go out, we make them stationary, put a porch on and a roof. You got to, and that's these things are made to haul, man. This you is know, an I, actual RV. I have wanted to. Well, one thing with you saying this is an RV, this is very low. How? And I know it's went to California and back or wherever it all went and all this mm -hmm. stuff. It's fine to travel like that with it being that low. Why am I thinking that there's something wrong with it being low? Low. I mean, it's low. It's low. It's low. There's nothing hanging out underneath the house. Okay. All the plumbing's up. That's why you got a stair step up there in the mm -hmm. bathroom. I'm okay. sorry, but I forgot to turn that off. Turn that down. All right. Um, yeah, it is. It is exceptionally low, and when this is the first one we ever did. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we did have the drop axles because we used to do all Craftsman trailers. And so that's why the fenders are up in here. And then after we did it, I thought, you know, the height of these, we got 13.6. Mm -hmm. But you know what, Amanda? I really like the way this looks outside being low. Uh, yeah. Because it was going to, the aerodynamics of it, it just looks good. You know what? It actually looks like an old RV. I yeah, think. it does. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Well, I want to no. say something about this too, is that it is cool in here. It's hot outside right now, but it feels cool in here. Hey, but buddy. Spray, it does not feel hot in here. Look, he's getting ready to do it. Lord, come on in, Rob. I'm going to do part B today. I got <laughs> part a that looks great, it man. It looks beautiful. I'll trim it out. That looks nice. It's the WD-40. <laughs> I like that. That's some. That's some. That's a lot of little storage in there. Let you know. That's right. Somebody's in there. Right. What's he got, Ace? What's he doing? Ready, uh, talk, uh, introduce Rob again for people who've not, who yep. don't know. Rob's our master cabinet maker. Uh, you name it, he can build it. Furniture. Anything. Furniture, you name it. Uh, any kind of problems we got, things that won't fit, goofy designs of how cabinets or anything, on, Rob will figure it out. Yep. I'll try. He does good. Do I need to come back? I no. What were you going to do here? I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, well, I'm measuring this. I'm going to trim this out first, finish this up. And then uh, the bed, I'm going to TNG it so when it's closed up, the, I'm going to try to get the lines to line up with what you already have so it kind of disappears, mm -hmm. nondescript. That's yeah. cool. And then when it folds down, it will rest on the bench, which will support the weight. So. Got it. So how will you hinge it down here? What are you thinking there? I don't know. I ain't got that far yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm the kid that always did my homework on the way to school. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. I'll get an A plus too. That's cool. That is cool. It'll be a queen, right? Queen, yes, sir. Okay. Then um, I'll get that four-inch phone like you suggested. Over yeah. Now, uh, let me go ahead and get all this mapped out because your phone for your your bench. It's going to have to be a different thickness than the foam in your mat or your mattress mm -hmm. because when I, when, I, when I fold it down, I want everything to be on the same plane. Yeah. So, Unless she knocks the bed down and hangs down a little bit lower or something, right? Yeah. I like the idea of this gigantic California king size. I know it. Mattress. That there. would be cool. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's going to hit here anyway, so why not have that all foam yeah, too, you know? Right. So I'm thinking like the cushion. This cushion will go in first, and then when you want to uh, lay the bed down, we'll raise this cushion up and scoop this one back. Yes. Give you the ledger Lip. for the bed. So whatever thickness this this mattress or cushion turn needs yeah. to be. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yep. 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 Nice. He's smooth. I mean, he's done rested, gone looking. Talk sleep. about something that goes into the the scenery right there, or camouflage. He's gone he's, into the floor. He's, he's gone into the floor. He's the same color. Oh wow! He <laughs> is. Oh, he, and so he's like, it's like he's not there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, how long will this take you to build? Uh. Well, I've got a day in this, and then a day in that, so two days. Okay. 
You said trim on the front. What was you thinking about on the front? Well, I don't like this uh, plywood edge showing. Right. So I'm going to put a piece of trim here, and then I'll put a... A little base or a something? A base all the way around it. Okay. That'll look pretty. Yeah. Screw all up right there. Yeah. We can bring it around the side, too, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Bring it around the side. This looks great. It's, it's very built, nice. It's built in. It'll be built in. Yeah. Well, see, Amanda, like back here... Oh, that's what you were doing, tearing that all out of there and trimming. I got you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could actually put a, a small cabinet here, mm -hmm. a desk, anything, True. storage. Oh, really, on both sides. I was going to put a sliding glass door in here, mm -hmm. but I thought if I framed it in, that could have shelves from here up, yeah. from here down, as long as we get to the light switch, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot still that can be done. Look at this wall space right up here. I know. All the way across that. If we, want, if we needed to, we could put upper shelves or cabinets in here. I'll probably do something like that in here. You know what? Yeah. Even for, really? What will you do under here? What well, happens? that's just fender wells. Okay. So really what I could do, if you think about it, up there in the top corners, there could be two cabinets for clothes. Well. Even a tall closet for hanging up clothes. You well, know Let me what? ask you this. So underneath that, so underneath the bed, will there be... Like they'll be sitting there like No, see the bed the there? bed's gonna fold up against the wall. It's gonna be about five inches thick. It'll yeah. just sit right there. So there's nothing but mattress oh, okay. behind it. And then that's nothing but fender well. That's nothing but wheels underneath so the house. So you can't set nothing there to where because it's gonna fold up and down. What what do you mean? What would you want to set? Well, I mean like I was thinking like you know how those fabric boxes where you just put oh, some no. or I something. I don't like fabric boxes, man. <laughs> I well, guess guys don't do those. Y'all be sure to tune in tomorrow to see this finished product. <laughs> That's <laughs> there right. you go. That's right. Thanks, yeah. Rob. Everybody have a lovely day. <laughs> Bye. See you, buddy. That looks nice. Door shut. Yeah, thank you. Fabric boxes. Fa That's what I said. Fabric boxes. Gosh, there's so much wall space. So when I look in here, you got this wall space. And what he's doing is he's going to make this Murphy bed about five inches, four inches thick with the foam. Mm -hmm. Then you got a back on it, so it's going to stick out about five inches. Mm -hmm. Now, the house was not designed for Murphy bed. That's why there's a plug here and a plug there. We're going to put an entertainment center and mm -hmm. stuff. So, I don't care to close them up. If we want to put a TV on the back side, like I said, we could mount it on the back and be underneath the house, underneath the bed when you lay it down. Mm -hmm. But it has so much wall space on here that I think we could add things. The only thing is, if you start putting cabinets up. It starts bringing in mm -hmm. the volume into the house and it starts making it feel smaller and smaller. Right. So he's going to make the bed, like he said, look like it's blended into the wall and he's going to use V-Groove. So if we use V-Groove on all these cabinets and they make them look like the wall, it won't look like it's coming out on you. Right, look, exactly. Once to scratch the door, scratch it won't go out. Scratch the door and it won't go out. So I love wall space that knowing that there's a potential place to put things. Right. A lot of times... We'll put so much windows and glass and mm -hmm. other things, you don't have any wall space. Right. So, you know, that wall, yeah, if, if we were at a beautiful place and had a north, beautiful view and all that, it might be nice to have a big picture window, but we've got one right here. Yeah, you already got you one. Know? So, but it's nice to figure out, like, afterwards where you want to put everything. Yeah. So you don't want to put permanent things in here until you really know that's where I want to put my clothes, yeah. my stuff. Well, now, normally when you build a house, you build a house according to the view. So we had a massive just view of whatever we wanted to look out that way, this way, or whatever. You would put windows and doors in a place that would accommodate your view and the build of the right. lot or what you're doing. When we build these, we don't know where they're going, where it's going to be sitting. Right. And so it's hard to put a big picture window here. Yeah. And if you're going to be maybe in the beach, you've got your neighbors right there. And you don't want a picture window right there, you know? Uh, I have a question real quick about with you saying that. I think that I would want my windows tinted. How do I get my windows tinted once I already have my home and I've already got, I'm on my lot, how do you get your window tinted? Well, um, they'll come out and tint them, you know. Will they? A company, yeah. Okay. Normally the auto tinting, you know, they'll come out. I would out. De definitely do that. Yeah. That would help with the heat. It would help with the heat. I know when I built my first RJO, I had, a, I had one on each side mm -hmm. and it was, it was east hot. and west. It was east and west. Yeah. I'd get it in the morning and the evening, and so I had to put I had to put a blanket over it. It was so mm -hmm. hot, you know, and the winter was yeah. awesome, though, with the light. Hey, I got a couple of questions, Amanda. A or, couple? <laughs> I got a book. We got, we got a this. lot of questions. And thank Let's you for all your comments and, and stuff that you guys oh. are sending in. 
I appreciate it. I love to answer any questions you got, or I'll try to the best I can. And um, so it says here, this is no, from. No, but start with four, what day this was, so they'll be caught up with what. Okay. Show. Just jump all over me, why don't you? I usually do. Jan Lint, eight twenty four twenty one. Wait a minute, what'd you do with the other one? What? Oh, you didn't bring Fridays? All I got is this one whole thing. Oh, no, there's two of them. Tuesday night show. There was one from Friday's show, and we can do that another time if you want to. I, we're going to rock by the office, man. I can just reach in there and grab it, knock on the window. Would you guys give me the list? This is, okay, this is from last night's show. Tuesday. Jan Lent, 10 hours ago. Randy, you seem surprised that the lady you talked to was so happy. I've been down three different times to work on my home, and it's more beautiful every time. I can't wait to be there permanently. I sit and look and can't believe how lucky I am. I'm already making great friends. Everyone I've talked to feels the same way. Jan is, uh, if, you'll, if everybody will remember Jan's house, she was the kid. She's on mm -hmm. the beach. She's over there close to Mike Tice. Yeah. And uh, she's been working on her home, her and her grandson, and she just left and went back, I think, to Ohio. So she's trimming it out, right? Trimming it out. Yeah. yeah. In so. Outside, too, or just the inside, I think? Right, outside. She's done. doing She's doing the V-groove, the trim, everything inside. Yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's a big job, man. Yeah. Dave Cardinal, just an idea for those builds that need tanks. If you required them to use a Craftsman Trader when there should be enough space to have them in the floor and still have the ceiling height, that would get them the Freedom Trader. That's a great suggestion. Yep. Uh, the Craftsman Traders, um, there's just so much to that. A Craftsman, a craftsman Trailer has mm -hmm. drop axles. It sits low like this one. Yeah. So the, doing the tanks, think about that. Just tanks in the floor, how much... It changes everything. Yeah. The whole house changes. The height of the floor, the ceilings, everything, the trader, the expense, just because you want a tank in the floor. Wow. Yeah. You gotta really think. Do you really, really, really need want, it? Yeah. Yeah, want and need them. Misty C. I love her comment. I read it. Randy, wow, you have a lovely singing voice. <laughs> and that song fits you to a T. I just love the new roads in the mountain. Mandy came out came up with a good name for the road. FYI, you're never boring. You are so informative to make sure tiny home owners think and learn every aspect to keep their home. Keep doing what you're doing, Randy, from Twisty Misty. And I love that she said Twisty Misty because that means she's watched us for a long time because Randy and I have talked about, I used to always call him Twisty Misty, running around and stuff like that. So that's very cute for somebody to bring up something like that. Well, we got some... Folks have been watching this for we a long time. Good followers. That's cool. It's, man, this has been a long I road. I love it. Magnolia Rum. The new road is gorgeous. Looks like uh, looks like one of the many scenic roads of ITH. When it's all finished, going to be just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm glad people can see that. It's beautiful. Because it's so hard to see. I know with the dozers and the mud and the, the stuff all piled up. Even out here, you know, we need weed eating and mowing and stuff. And everybody here that can swing a hammer, swing a hammer. Yeah. We are trying to build homes, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Clovita Bertram. Hi, Clovita. Nope. It's not illegal to have an outhouse. My aunt lives in town. Right here? I don't know. Well, she says she lives in town and still does and still has an outhouse. And the clothesline. Love it. You have, love it. You have pawpaw trees. Oh, my gosh. Been looking for some. Always treat your sidekick good. She's like, honey... In your energy drinks, Randy. <laughs> you two are almost lost without each other. I don't think so. And always there are each other. Aw. Bless you both. Love all you're doing. Very sweet. Sally Cushmall. Sally Cushmall. Cushmall. Good job. What's up, Cushmall? Well, don't talk her like that. Randy singing makes me want to go dancing. LOL. <laughs> Thanks for making us laugh, making folks feel happy. Love you, tiny homes. I don't. When I come on there, I'm not like trying to, I'm not trying to be the next, you know, thing singing. I just sing because I think, I think uh, people sing when they're by themselves. Yeah. And when they watch our videos, I just want you to, I just want you to see that there's somebody else out there that's willing to do something, just uh, and not be uh, uh, made, not be scared to make themselves look goofy. You know? Well, you're about to get put down here, man. Go yeah, ahead. I will. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, well, of course. Nah, I mean, it's coming in those comments. Well, I figured it was. 
So, but I'll just keep saying. I get yeah one negative comment and I'm well we'll go. <laughs> Randy, how can I start paying for a house to be built and live on that mountain? Please, I don't mind waiting for a few years. So how do we I start st paying on a house? Right now. I guess what she's talking about. Yeah, we've actually stopped developing the mountain. We've sold 62 lots over there, and um, I I just had to stop because I don't want it to get out of hand. I want to yeah. make sure that we can actually have a stopping point to build and get everything done um we may you know we got a lot of land over there we may start another phase i'm sure we will later on you know but right now i i just i don't want to get strung out it just seems like the way the economy bit. is the way the company is and it's just yeah i gotta wait on that if you want to pay for your home uh we used to have a layaway program that we could you know I don't know if we'll still do that, but it's just like, you know, you're paying for your house, you know, by the month and we put it away and you got a certain, you know, contracts, money down. And, you know, that's something we've done in the past. If something you need to do, you know, if you don't want to put it away in your own savings, because some people say I might spend it, but we could probably work out something like that, you know. Uh, Janice McCarvey, Randy, you are near perfect. Oh, God, what's her phone number? <laughs> you are a testament to not quitting having faith and hope. Thank you for being you. I always tell people, I love to sing. I never said a, I never said I could sing. LOL. Mm -hmm. Amanda, you rock. That's nice. That's nice. Cyril, I'm going to destroy your name. Cyril Moes, Moes, Mosoki. That's Cyril close. Mosoki. Yeah. All right. Randy and Amanda Tiny House Show. Wow, Randy is a good singer. Bravo. <laughs> if I can remember the words. I don't, I don't, the songs are so old. You know, I was listening to them and I sent my son that song and I hadn't heard it in years, just popping up, just doing stuff. Yeah. And uh, I hadn't heard it in so long. I couldn't remember all the words to it. Randy, that's a perfect song for you. Love to hear you sing. Uh, you just stay the way you are. Randy, oh, that was uh, Linda Feeney. Yes. And then Sylvia Torres. Randy, we haven't heard you sing in a long time. I'm just me. Wow. Super. All right. There's, where's, where's the one that's going to cut my throat? I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> it had to be this one. Yeah. Travis. <laughs> All right, Travis. Ace runs away from Randy singing. Don't blame him. Keep on trucking, Ace. <laughs> Keep on trucking, Ace. Keep on trucking. Boo! Out of here. God. As for the tanks under the house, just put your tanks outside the house. Use a heater in the tank unless you have a, <laughs> unless you have a solid week, 20s and 30s degree weather, well, you'll be fine. Exactly. And that's what we were talking about. I like yeah. the tanks, but that's what we got to ask. Are they going to use the houses for what are you traveling? For? Yes. You know, if they're going to travel a lot, that's the only reason you need tanks. I agree. Is you're traveling a lot. Right. Unless, you know, I, I should say only. I mean, hell... Somebody might have another reason, well, you know. Well, people's got some comments about that too. Okay. Uh, Sylvia Torres, Randy, the wood looks very nice. Just was wondering if you put wood on the outside of the stucco house, will it shift? That's a good question. Um, like a regular old all wood house. Mm -hmm. um, wood's wood. Stucco house, yeah, it's going it to move. doesn't matter. It's going to move, yeah. Okay, good question, Sylvia. Barbara Escobar. Thank you, Randy, for sharing and showing the road yump made. You are so clever. I love Tuesdays. Mondays are ugh. Ah. And this hey, well, we just got a couple more here. Um, Lori Mullen. And we're building for Lori. All right, Lori. We're building for you. Hi, Lori. What I heard years ago about outhouses is if the outhouse already exists on a property, then it is legal to have a prop on the property. We had one in Pennsylvania on our grandparents' farm years ago. Some zoning area no longer allows them. Some areas have no restrictions on building codes, can build, uh, can build tiny outhouses on their land. So it was, if it was already on the land and the land codes changed over the years, the existing house is supposed to be grandfathered in to be legal. It is always good to check and know the rules in your area. That's good to know, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was interesting. Yeah, it should be grandfathered that. in, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that's just a person called OK. Oh, that's cool. Maybe Oklahoma. Please make a village for us in the North Dallas area. You're getting a lot of requests for ten. I mean, Texas. I feel like 
is the most requested place for tiny houses. Really? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's they need they have to have the, I know a lot of places need housing. Yeah. But Texas is our biggest because you're gonna get more comments in I got need Texas. I got some ideas for development. I'm I'm researching it and okay. when it, I'm I've got a lot coming out the first of the year, everybody. We are like I said, we're doing this year of perfection and it's trying to get our build down or inventory down all of our building our new building and every, everything we're doing we have to build homes to make this happen yes and we have to have more men we have to have more partnerships okay. we have we got it down now we got the homes we just need now we need backs and people to build that's right you know so but i got some ideas about some um developing land mm -hmm. that i think is going to really revolutionize and speed this process up so much, you guys are going to be blown away. Awesome. Yep. Um, Cynthia Reynolds, Randy, stay responsible, stay strong, but please don't grow up. I love that boyish charm. Amanda, God bless you, girl. <laughs> Putting up with me, right? Girl, I'm <laughs> kidding. And I think, did we, uh, Cynthia, we built for her. We built her a home. We did. Mm -hmm. Reynolds. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Sharon Andrews, could you build a box of steel panels on the tongue of the trailer to house tanks? Good. Stacking them with the black tank um, on the bottom, then the gray, you gotta, yeah. yep, and water tank on the top. You would have access to all the tanks contained, insulated without losing space in the home. Uh, the only problem might be tongue weight. Does that idea help you at all? Yes. Sharon. I thought that was very Sharon Andrews. Nice of her to suggest yeah. that. Yeah, and and you know, like a water tank, it can go up in a loft. We had one up in the loft, and you you push the water up there, and then um, a tank, a, a pump will pump it to you. Mm -hmm. The uh, and darn black and gray tanks, they really need to be right under the toilet. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's really the only place to put them things. So, but yeah, we we've, we've used a tongue box before. We had one with a water tank in the tongue box, mm -hmm. and they had to empty it is before it they heavy? left. Yeah, yeah. this is too heavy. Okay. Yep. Uh, Sylvia Torres again. Wow, what a difference a day makes. Because it only took a day for Yump to do that. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. And we'll try to get over there today. I got to get mm -hmm. over there and talk to Somebody him a little else. bit more too. Talking about gray water in many places, you cannot dump gray water on the ground. Gray water sometimes smells worse than black water. Mm. In our travels, we have run across people who have dumped their gray water on the ground right next to where we were parked. Pew, the smell is so bad. And that is true. Is that Ron and Alice? Alice. Yeah, Alice. Yeah. Yeah. And too, uh, Ron and Alice, uh, we are going to get up. They're, they're getting ready to leave for a little bit. Yeah. So we've got to get in there and help them move some stuff and do some stuff in their, uh, their RV and stuff like that. Okay, we'll take care of them. Um, yeah, that's true. And yeah. And especially, see if the gray water is in the tank mm -hmm. and it sits there for a while. I mean, we had our water systems that we had, you know, that we, mm -hmm. we came up with the filters and, and they worked, but the only thing is you had to, re, you had to clean the filters constantly yeah. because the organic debris matter comes out of, you're washing your hands, your hair, your face, the dishes and all that goes through all those filters it's going to start rotting immediately. And then it's warm outside. It's 100 degrees. Um, yeah. So gray water can be, and gray water is illegal a lot of places, except for, um, you know, if you got vegetation you can dump it into, mm -hmm. I just don't see why you don't dump it into these big forests and, mm -hmm. and stuff, you know? I think maybe because the main thing is that people are, um, people are at... RV parks. Yeah. That's the problem. Once you start, to be dumping it everywhere. Oh, God, yep. yeah. We have cholera. Oh, good. Patricia Dune. Is it Dune or Dune? I would say Dune, but I'm not sure. Okay. And I think you've got a message to call her, too. Says, so Sam told me there's no more land and you cannot handle any more work right now. I really want a tiny house on that mountain. Please. <laughs> I can handle more work. I just don't want to... Um, like I said, I don't want to develop any more land over there. Um, it's just, it, I, have to, I had to have a stopping point. We were actually going to just stop at 40. Mm -hmm. And it was just a lot of people coming here, so we went to 60. We it 62. got to 62. I really wanted 60. And then two more came in before I could get to the sales staff and everybody saying, yeah. stop, you know. Two more was already um, on. Just hang on. Just hang on, everybody. We got a lot of land. Yeah. I will develop more over there, 
okay? Development is coming. I just have to regroup. So if when we get the prairie in, we're all done here, and it's all looking good, and we're doing what we need to do, and then the first of the year, we'll have a lot done across the street, as you guys can see. Once we got that done, um, yeah. then I can regroup. I've got plans and ideas that in my head, but I just haven't walked through and done anything right, yet. Exactly. So, but I just don't want to keep doing the same thing over right. there. Um, Betty Jepson, Amanda, hey, I'm, Betty. I am with you on that hump in that new road. Yeah, she got out too. She jumped out of there. Dog jumped out. Betty you actually knows. got mad at me. I'm not going. You down. looked at me and you said. Mm -mm. No. No. Uh-uh. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I can't I can't wait till this is completed. I don't trust Randy either, Amanda. <laughs> Betty knows. Randy carrying her carrying her flip flops. Oh. Okay. I forgive you for scaring Amanda again, Randy. <laughs> John three thirty. Uh less of me, more of him. <laughs> we lived in our camper for three years and we had a septic company come out every two weeks to pump our black tanks uh they they will work a deal with you if you are a steady customer okay that's cool. good information wow every two weeks that's a lot that is a lot um coletta colette dushnowski mm -hmm. dushnowski okay that's a cool name it is that song was a wonderful message that's cool yeah that was nice sue moore hey i want one of those lots on the new road across from the fence. <laughs> you and me both. And then Eric Van Ziel. Hey uh, Eric, he's in Belgium. Hey Eric. Um, you can put the tanks inside under the bench or in a cupboard. And yes, yes. except for that darn black water. You yeah. know, it's really good to have them under the toilet. Um, Connie Brown, how many roads on a mountain that will have to be named? Well, I'm thinking even the road that connects three homes have to be named, you know? So there's one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, six roads. Wow. Yeah. We got to study on that. Okay. That answers my question. How do we get on, on a waiting list? <laughs> Janice McCarvey. Yeah. Okay. Can you build a tiny house that I stretched five years ago, that I sketched five years ago? Yeah. I'm sorry. This is Sarah Metcalf Alstrom. Okay, can you build a tiny house that I sketched five years ago? It's not to scale, but of all I've seen is different. I want a per I want it I want it permanent. Mm, okay. Okay. Send that in to me, Sarah. Um I'll be glad to look at it. Actually, I have everybody who wants a home. If you come here and you buy a house, so what we do, you sit down, talk about it, show you around, whatever. I talk it's really simple. I put it down to where do you ever you want everything on the ground floor? Like, do you want to live on the ground floor? Do you want your bedroom on the upstairs or like in the loft? Are you okay with climbing a ladder? Do you need steps? And how wide? Are you going to travel with it? Are you going to be permanent? Really? Yeah. Okay, so that, boom, that takes me here. Then, of course, your budget. You see a price list? Hey, we start at 19000 What you doing, buddy? And we go to um, $300 million, all right? Mm -hmm. So we'll go. That, that puts me right in honing in. So you want a 9 by 20 you want an 8 by 40 or whatever it is we do. And then that's it. And then if you have your sketch, I tell everybody, give me a sketch. You, so, make, the, you make a designing so simple, it is not even funny. Me and the girls will sit in there in the other office. You will sit down with the customer literally maybe five, eight, ten minutes. You are done. Done, done, done. The price, the sketch, the details, it's over. I need to put a video of that on, on our do. website. You do. You really do. Because it's... I guess in my mind, I see it very, really simple. You simplify. Because I ask them, is your kitchen, you, are you a big cooker? Some ladies say, you know what? I don't cook at all. I don't need a big kitchen. I just need a small sink. Mm -hmm. Great. Refrigerator, I don't prep a lot. I don't need a refrigerator. I got the design of the kitchen. Done. Bathroom, yeah. do you want a closet, shower, bathtub? Done. Yeah. Couple questions. Outside siding, metal color roof, live upstairs, downstairs, sleeping. What do you like? Right? Yeah. All that right there immediately puts me in a frame of a sketch of a house, what I gotta have. Yeah. Right? Bathroom on the front, back, middle. You want a living room, you want do you want to sleep in your living room, or do you yeah. want a bedroom on the back and what's your budget? Right. I can take all that information right there and within a couple minutes just come up with a design. Well, and, and sketch too, it. with ex your experience for I mean what forty it has to be forty years now, right? I'm just saying. You're no spring chicken over. 
I might uh, 40, you got 40 years experience. Uh, I knew you wouldn't like that. 40 building. years experience. I wish. You oh. know, I didn't start building until I was 30. But yeah, I've had, I, I designed all the houses over at Brothers Co. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and all these. Yeah. And well, and you're living in them, so yeah, you, you've tested all these homes, you know exactly what the back of your hand what is needed, what you can do, what we build, mm -hmm. so you know everything. So it's a very it's very quick. I love it. You know, when we're outside, the I mean, the guys are building inside the shop. Um, there's always, even though you got blueprints, mm -hmm. things, happen. things happen, they don't fit, they don't happen, they don't, they're, they're not as perfect as you would think, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I love it when they come in and say, hey, how are we gonna do this low bearing beam over this door? How are you gonna carry the load? Or how are you gonna put this roof system when the dormer yeah. doesn't fit? And I just like figuring stuff like that out. Mm -hmm. But I like figuring it out in a way that doesn't cost a lot of money. Yes. You know, how can we do this more cost effective? Like we had a heating and air system going in on this Hobbit. It wasn't this one, it was the other one coming out. In the airline, we had to put a 220 heat and air unit on like this right here, right? Mm -hmm. The mini split. Yeah. Well, the line set, was made to be in the wall. Well, on the ESPs, they're not in the wall, they're on the outside of the wall. Well, the mini split is not made to hold all of that line set and go through the in the mini split on the ah. interior air handler to hook up. It made it stick out. They needed some room, you know? Well, they're gonna punch it out the back side of the house and they're gonna be exposed and all that stuff. And I said, no, I tell you, I, I just like, you know, mm -hmm. coming up with something. So I said, why don't we just take that metal on the ESP, draw a line where that line's set, let's cut the metal out and just skim a little bit of the foam off the inside of the wall and, and it, it, and it laid right inside that Perfect. and it was done, you know? It's, and it was three or four of us all in there mm -hmm. thinking. I didn't think of that at first, but everybody started talking. You come up with some ideas, you know? Yeah. And, so um, do you go back and when you cut that, when you do that a little bit, it still has foam on the back. But do you put foam over top of those lines? Or it's all, that... no, the foams are insulated. Okay. Everything's insulated. Now, where that, all right, see when you got, see this plug here? Mm -hmm. All right, so this wall on a stick built house is three and a half inches thick, right? Mm -hmm. Well, these boxes are like two and three quarters. Yeah. So you've only got maybe a half inch of foam on the back side of that plug. Okay, I see. So that's why I remember when I was a little guy back up in Michigan, I was a boy rolling, mm -hmm. you could put your hand in front of that plug mm -hmm. and you could feel cold air oh, blowing yeah, sure. in. You know, there's only that much insulation uh -huh. behind it. Right. So really, even in a re regular home, they've got, and this is a trouble spot for homes. You yeah. know, that's why they're going to two by six framing now. A uh, real quick question is, do you know when did spray foam come about? I always just heard of, Fiberglass, or you know, the pink stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't know when it came out. Is it just like the last it's just, 10, I don't know. Years? I don't. All I know is right now it is super popular across oh, the United States. Everybody uses it. Like when I was up in Minnesota, that's all they spray. Now, when I was in Arkansas before I started the company, mm -hmm. well, really we started it and I had to go to Arkansas to support the company. We had that spray foam, and they used an open open cell. All right, open so it's cell. not waterproof. It's not airtight. And they would use that on all the walls and the roof and the ceiling. They would only use closed cell under the house because it's moisture barrier. Oh. So when I went to Minnesota, all closed cell. Mm -hmm. Everything is closed cell now. So I'm, I, I don't know if that's across the nation. But yeah, right, so why would you use open cell? Um, I think so the house can breathe, I guess, a little bit because okay. it's, not a, 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 um, it's not watertight or airtight. I'm saying. And it's a little bit, it, it, it's uh, not as hard. Okay. This closed cell. And it's cheaper, I'm sure. Yeah, Open it is cheaper. Uh -huh. But um, I, I'm i wondering now if everybody is going with, you know. Closed cell. Closed cell. Okay. Yeah. I love it in the tiny homes because it actually gives a structural strength. Yes. Nobody can give us the exact structural strength of a closed cell foam insulation mm -hmm. because it's not uh, uniform. It's yeah. not perfect. So there's got some imperfections in it. So it may weaken that that uh, calculation if you try to get right. the strength of it. But I know as we build with it and how we see it working in the homes, there is just it's massive. Wow! This right here is a fortress. This is a container home, mm -hmm. all out of steel. It's got a metal roof on it. It's actually got an arch on it, and we got some gutters going down the side. And I've got a water collection system on it. So I'm ready to collect my water so I can live off grid. Um, all the lights are LED. Now, the only thing I want to switch out is I want to get a gas top instead of electric, of mm -hmm. course. And I may get me an RV fridge. 
But I was thinking, I'll probably just get me a cooler with some ice in it and okay. kind of play around with that a little bit right here. And you know what, too? I'm not full-time living all day in it. When I leave the house, I'm gone. I come here and work in the future if it works out like that. So I probably won't have to, like, totally prep every meal from the house. Right. So it's not like right. a full live-in. But I'm going to start experimenting more with a real cost-effective off-grid so system. So would it be cheaper to get... Because containers have went sky high. They've doubled in price. Okay? Mm -hmm. So to get a really perfect uh, container, I think we just paid $8,000, $8,000, it was something up there for the containers. Yeah. Okay? So if I you I know want, where you're going. What? If you get a real... You get the beat up ones. Yeah. And you just put wood on them, which is cheaper. Is it cheaper to get a beat up one and put wood on it? Oh. Or to... Well, that's, I didn't think you were going there. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't like... You know, I put wood on this because we remodeled this three times. Well, and it was beat up it outside. Was, God, it looked like it landed on on its head ah. and rolled down the hill. Atrocious. And uh, <laughs> so we covered it up. But I, I mean, I like a container with no wood on it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the premise if of it... you that wood. It just lasts forever. You don't have another touch. You never have right. to touch it ever again. Mm -hmm. I'll be out here, but this one's so low to the ground, I can almost reach it all the way around, touch it up, and be done. So, if you don't have to have, if you're having issues with getting wood, like for inside of a home, would you get a beat up container and just put the, the B groove or something on it, or what? All right. See what you, I'm saying? So, there's a couple things. Like, why do you want a container? You like the look of it on the outside? All right. You like the corrugated look. You like the industrial look. Is that what you want? Yeah. Or is it the price? What is it that you like about a container? Because it's only 84 inches wide on the inside. Yeah. They're 89 to 90. You get more on a regular home. Right. The height of this is not as, as tall. You don't mm -hmm. get the cathedral ceilings or anything. You don't want to cut the top off and stack them. That's just no. not unless it's a permanent structure. So you got to you got to figure out why do you want a container? To me, mostly they like the look on the outside. So why cover it with wood? Mm -hmm. Now we've enhanced it with part wood and stuff like that, which looks nice. Which is nice. But if you really want to me, how I see it, and I know this is gonna be, you know, I'm gonna like this, Amanda. Uh-oh. But if you really want this to be cost effective, yeah. I mean I'm just thinking right now, foam panels. Mm -hmm. a complete, okay. A complete square. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you put foam panels on this house right here, and you just run a complete square with a flat roof, that is less expensive material-wise than a container. Okay. Less, yes. You know what? Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. So if I ran in here and put some beams across here just to support the roof, now them panels, I think, would self-supporting. You don't, it could be perfectly flat. I could probably even put a, an arch in that roof up here mm -hmm. a little bit for the water to run off, put gutters. I could probably make, I never even thought of that, you just said that. Mm -hmm. I could make a container looking box home yeah. mm -hmm. with the panels. It just wouldn't have the corrugated on the outside. Okay. Now, you can cover that with wood, you can stucco it, you could put metal on the outside, you could put old barn wood metal or anything mm -hmm. on the outside, but it'd be a box. Right. Yep, just like a container. Okay, I like that. Hmm. See this? This is how ideas come up right here. Yeah. When you have time to think about it. My whole, you know what motivates me is not building bigger homes. Right. It's not building fancier homes. Mm -hmm. It's not building, you know, more expensive homes. I like building less expensive, mm -hmm. cost-effective, just low-priced homes that still look amazing. Yeah. They still have all the amenities. That's why I came up with the container. I don't know hardly anybody that's building container homes on a trailer that you can pull behind a truck. I don't in. either. I don't either. So why don't we do that with our foam panels that look like a box? Mm -hmm. But but and that's what I'm saying. If you want a container look, they're amazing. I yeah. love them. They're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Either way. Oh, I got more. Yeah, we're just about finished. Here's you know what? We couldn't have handled Friday's show. So what we're going to do is that from now on, at the end of every show, I'm going to print out the day before's comments, we had, on Friday's show, we had 242 comments. Wow. We can't let those pass by anymore. Question. Is the Vulture House 
on your mountain property. <laughs> we don't know what happened to the Annabella vulture. Annabella Arana. Where'd they go? The, the birds. Is the vulture house on your mountain property? Yes, it is. I don't know where the vultures went. There were two of them. They would sit there all the time. Every time I took him up there for a walk. Now, it's normally in the morning when I go up there and see him, so they may be up there in the morning. Um, but that's an old house. It is on the mountain. There were two residents on that mountain property. One we tore down at the front. That one we're going to tear down too. And it had a power pole. That whole driveway yes. went right up to that house. I don't know the history behind that home, but it looks... We found an old fence. We found an old meter. Yep. That, it's got a backyard, a fence, and that's what Yump's going yes. through. I need to go over there and look and talk to him a little yeah. bit about it. Um, when the beach is finished, this is from Eric Van Zeele. Zeele? Hey, Eric. Van Zeele. Ben when the Zeele, beach is finished, Van Zeele, um, you should put some beach sand down. I know, we're, we're, we're looking into that. Amanda talked about painting the, the concrete. I love that idea. Wouldn't it be cool if everybody had a different color in their concrete? Yes, everybody painted their concrete. And then I'll paint the road. Have them cute and paint the road like beautiful. And you'll have your I gotta stuff. Do that. I think it needs to be painted. I gotta do that. I think that everybody needs to pretty. paint their concrete. Yeah, and then we'll put some bamboo and all that beautiful. stuff. Beautiful. All right, Dave Cardinal again. Hey, Amanda. That, hey Dave, Cameron. that tank you guys showed by our tiny house yeah. is not ours. Mm -hmm. We don't have a tank um, being used in our design. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that it goes to where it needs to be. You know how things grow legs around there. <laughs> well, thank you, Father Dave. When you told that to Tim, that was so funny. He said, yeah, if they ever think it's legs around here, grows legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know that's not your tank. <laughs> that's yep. funny. Cool. People care about us. They do. Yeah. You know, and like I said the other day, um, people with suggestions and things and ideas, um, it's nice to nice to hear them. It is. You know, we can learn things from them. I just like really designing and imagining and doing stuff that's just so much fun. I remember when I was first in business, and still now, but, you know, we've learned a lot since we've been doing this. Um, because we show so much of who we are, yeah, you know, and then we allow people to speak into our lives, and and I like people's opinions and stuff, um, but it's just neat how everybody we've allowed everybody to come into our life, mm -hmm. kind of through these videos and how we're talking, to say, hey, what have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope I can always accept um, ideas and opinions from people and, and suggestions stuff like and stuff. Mm -hmm. I love thinking. I love thinking outside the box, and you know when I think the best is when I'm quiet, when I get away. And I wish I could do, okay. He sees that, I think my phone's making that reflection. He's gonna jump right on my face. Wait. He, he would, if it was on you, he'll do it. He goes nuts over a reflection. He does. Yeah. Oh, he can't stand it. Are we going to, uh, are we going out or are we done? I mean, we're at 54 minutes. Are you serious? Yes. How would anybody want to listen to me read these? They, they Stop. Just stop it, Randy. You're just... <laughs> You're so crazy. Well, we're sitting in this container. All right, it is hot out. It's probably already probably close to... Probably getting close to 90 it out. It is. It is not... It's comfortable. We don't have any air conditioning, electricity, door shut. All the windows We're are shut. shut. And we haven't maxed out the heat in here. No. Even though your pants... Your, <laughs> what, buddy? It's, it's not bad at all in here. Oh, you got full of birds all over you. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah, already. Thursday, but every day's a Tuesday around here. The month is almost gone. <laughs> oh. What? What you <laughs> see? All right. Thank you for watching. Um, send in your comments and your questions and stuff. I'll be glad to answer <laughs> anything or anything you got. Daily at the end of the show, we're got to do something. So I won't feel, I won't do a whole show answering questions. No, so. exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I love, I always want to bring you guys a good show and show you a lot of cool stuff. And we may put another little... What? We may do a quick video. You're driving me crazy. Is she driving you nuts, huh? <laughs> it's the... Randy, here it is. There it is. Where's that? See it's, it? Get it. Get it, boy. Get it. Get there it. There it is. Get it. Get it. Oh, oh. Where's that, buddy? Oh, God.
this is my house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See ya. What is it, buddy? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Chew. Oh! He is lost his mind. <laughs> Let's go.